So our next client today is Peter, and I'd like to invite Peter's guides, his angels, his higher self, his star family to join us now. And please let me know when you're ready to proceed. We are ready. Very good. So let's begin with a body scan for Peter. Just scanning through the body, looking for any areas where healing, clearing, or anything that we need to know. We see his mind. His mind is full. Thinker. He's a thinker, this one. So many thoughts, so many worries, so many what ifs, so many hows. Lots of thinking in this one. And so, what does he need to know or understand? to get that mind in better shape, to become clearer. What does he need to understand today? That it's okay to let his heart run this show sometimes. Earth is hard on the males. The males are told, don't feel. Keep it inside. Don't express that. Don't cry. And so he has done so. And now he carries the weight of the world in his mind. And there's a lot of thoughts. And it's dominant. So we suggest that he drop those thoughts, those worries, those wonders into his heart space to take it from here. Because only with the heart may he truly see what he's seeking. All of the answers he is searching for already lie within his heart. Don't you know they say the heart is a window to the soul? That is true. Your soul is all-knowing. It already has all the answers. It has not forgotten. It is still connected to all, all that there is, all that there ever was, and all that there will be. The past, the present, the future. It knows it all. Won't you look inside your heart and listen for a bit? And can we bring him in some beautiful healing energies? into the heart to open and expand that window to the soul and also some beautiful frequencies into the mind to help with all that, all those thoughts, all that fullness. Do that for him today. Yes, we will build a connection between the mind and the heart, he has cut off the connection. There needs to be a pathway for the energy to escape the mind, to drop down into the heart, to be felt. The world has taught him not to do that as a male. We are telling him it is time this is where all the answers lie. We will help reconnect the pathways now. 
but you need to be open to it too. You need to open your heart. This is not some mumbo jumbo we are talking about. It is how you access the answers you seek. So allow the information to flow from your mind to your heart, my son. And you reconnect with all that is. Very good. And may I ask what star groups we have here for Peter today? We do have multiples. We are searching around for the predominant ones. We are the Octarions that have been speaking. His soul family is from Octarios. He resonates and has had lifetimes with other beings. We do see the Anunnaki. They are where the mind comes in, aren't they? The thinkers. Very headstrong attributes. He may attribute some of his qualities to this star race. They are proud that they had taught him much in his lifetimes with them. They are present. We also see Blue. We're not so sure she knows the star race. Mm -hmm. Would this be the blue ray soul group? Yes, that is correct. They show me their blue skin. He has had experiences with their group before. But his soul, we would like to say his home planet is Octarius. Very good. Thank you so much for that. So let's get started with his questions. His first question is, in 2003, he had a dreamlike experience of being left behind after a large group of people had since left to go home. And he's wondering if the guides can clarify if this dream was showing him his soul choice, or if this might have been a warning of some sort, or if this dream was about something else. We see that the stream was produced out of fear. He says, do not forget me, soul family. Please come back and get me like you said you would. When the time comes upon the planet in which the star people will return home does not wish to be forgotten. We want to say, how could we forget such a beautiful soul? We are so proud of you, our son. We have kept close watch over you. And there is no way we would ever forget our beautiful star child. We cannot wait to welcome you back home. 
Don't you worry, you will never be forgotten. We cannot wait, we are eagerly waiting in the wings. Don't you feel us? Very good. So he says that recently he has felt spirit prodding him to break out of the solitude that he lives in so that he can be a vital part of the local community. But it seems so difficult. So he wonders what advice can his guides give to help him seek to have a social presence. First, we would like to say it is time. Thank you for noticing us. Tapping on your shoulder, getting your attention. The world needs you. They need you now more than ever. Things are changing quickly upon earth. Time for you to step out. Time for you to rise up. You all are running the show, do you know? We would like to point out the light workers at this time from all of the different galaxies who have stepped in to help. So patiently waiting, you have been waiting in the wings, haven't you? Just watching the play of life. Oh, look at the play and the actors and look at all of them. Going about their day, not having a care in the world. Pretending like nothing is going on behind the scenes, right? Oh, but all the light workers are waiting behind the scenes. Just watching and waiting for their turn on the stage. Don't worry, you will know when it's time. The lights may go out. Something might fear the people on the stage, give them a fright. And all of you will roll your eyes. Oh, people of Earth, did you not see this coming? Really? Pretty clear, we've been watching from the sides. Oh, but the show must go on. And the light workers will step out for the first time in the light to show the world who they really are. No, you are not the human that they thought, are you? You will step out and show them exactly who you are. When the time is right, you will know, my child. Do not worry, just be ready. Work on yourself, build yourself up. How would you like to support the humans in this transition? That is up to you. So many choices, so many gifts you've been given. You get to decide how you would like to support the humans in this transition. The power lies within your hands. It is time. So his next question is, 
after starting an all vegan diet. He says he's noticed the need to supplement with certain nutrients that are a common issue with vegetarians. And he wonders, is the vegan diet the best for his body? Or should he consider including some land-based meats as well? You know, we think this question is quite funny. So much debate on that earth, we hear the chatter. Oh, eat this, don't eat that, only eat this. You will not descend if you eat that. Do you think that's true? We just have to laugh a bit. This ascension is bigger than all of that, my child. We want to offer the advice to eat the food of God. We will clarify. If you are drawn to eat the fruits, the vegetables, they need to be of God's creation, not tampered with from man, not tampered with from the dark, not modified, not sprayed with poisons, correct? You know this, you are aware, very good. The meat, we do want you to know these animals have made the sacrifice for you. There is a knowing, they are aware, this is their mission. They wish to provide for the bodies of earth in such a way to provide energy and nourishment as needed to help the planet. Do you see? Somewhere in history, they have flipped the roles on you. They have said, oh, you are a bad human. If you eat the meat, that is mean. That is bad for the environment. Oh, you will not descend if you eat the meat. That is low vibration, they say. You need to know you all came here to play a role for your own mission. These animals are part of that. Just like earth is, just like the trees are, just like the insects are. You all have your perfect role to play. The animals who are giving up their physical bodies to help nourish those on the earth are aware of this and they do so with honor. They say we will play that role. We will grow our body strong and nutrient rich and we will happily pass it along for those to be nourished to make the big change on the planet. Do you see? You are the ones making the big changes on the planet in the human bodies. The cows wish they could make this change for the planet, but that is not their role. They cannot do that. So they are offering their surfaces to humans, to the star seeds and to mother earth. It is their sacrifice, their giving. They know, do you know? They know there is much bigger things at play. Sacrificing their physical flesh is not a big concern for them. It is not low vibration, as some on your planet have told. When the meat is not altered by the dark, 
The meat holds a high frequency of light and love from God coming from the grass that they have eaten from God, full of God, light codes, sun codes, light frequency, bringing it into their vessel to be spread all throughout every cell of their being. And then you consume it, sharing those light codes within you, sharing the light frequencies within you. It is a gift from them to you to help the earth, to help the humans circle. They are so happy to offer the services. There is the differentiation. The animals that have been injected by the dark. That have been mutated. That have been made sick. That is different. Their poor cells do not carry the same frequency. So do choose wisely. You do know the difference. We know this. You are very smart. You have looked into it all. You do see the difference. We would just like to point that out. Not all meat holds high vibration. Your physical vessel at this time does show us the need for this type of nutrient. It is harder for you to stay vegan. You have a strong life force within you. You need more nourishment. You are not as light and airy as other frequencies. Do you feel that? There are some other beings, other frequencies that can easily eat a vegan or vegetarian diet and say, I feel so good. Everyone should do this. Look at me. I look amazing. And you say, well, I kind of not don't feel that great on it. I feel like I'm missing something. You need a different frequency. Do you see? The animals will provide this frequency for you. You need to get your energy up. You need to get your light built up. It is time. Do not starve your physical vessel or your soul will not be strong. Build yourself up and stop listening to the rules. You decide what is right for you. Do you know what is right for your friend is not right for you. Is your friend Octurian? Probably not. You are. Your frequency is different. Do you see that? Very good. Thank you for that. So he says he's worried or he's concerned with all of the calcium pills that he's been taking for his parathyroid disorder and worried that they may be calcifying his third eye and preventing it from opening. He's asking, how do his guides see its effect, those pills that he's taking? How are they affecting his third eye opening? Oh, child. So many worries, so many thoughts, huh? Let us clarify this for you. This is simple. Your simplistic calcium tablets do not have the power to calcify your third eye. If you have concern, let us tell you a secret. You go into the sun. 
you take off your hat, you take off your sunglasses, you get your body outside, you put your face up towards the sun, you relax, you take in the light codes, and all is clear and all is open. And that simplistic calcium interacts with the vitamin D from the beautiful sun. Your body transforms it and it says, oh, calcium, let us ride together hand in hand. And then your body says, oh, I know what to do with this calcium. We will deposit it where it belongs in the bones, correct? But to guess what? You hear the stories, oh no, don't take those calcium metabolites. They will calcify this, they will calcify that. Oh, the calcium is the problem, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh no, you know what the problem is? Nobody's going in the sun. Don't go in the sun, they say. Wear sunscreen, make sure you have your sunglasses on. Make sure you put your hat on. You might get skin cancer. Fear, fear, fear. Oh, that's weird. Everybody is depositing calcium all over their bodies. Don't take calcium tablets. That's definitely the cause, isn't it? No, my child. They're missing one key component, the sun. Go to the sun, allow that physical vessel to produce high amounts of vitamin D naturally. Allow the vitamin D to go hand in hand with your calcium tablets and it will escort it to all the right places. Oh, isn't nature so smart? We love it so. Just stop listening to what you've been told and you will be fine. So much worry on this one. Very good. Thank you for that. So he says for a long time, he's felt a deep connection with the Blue Ray Soul Group. And I know this group is here with us today. Can they share? anything about his connection with this group, anything he needs to be aware of. Yes, he has been with them many lifetimes. His last lifetime was with them, not with us. Perhaps that is why he has acknowledged them. We will see if they can be a match to speak. Please hold. Yes, thank you. Yes, we have been given permission to speak today. Hello, our son, we do miss you dearly. You have been with us many lifetimes. We are happy to see that you have made the connection. What questions do you have for us? He feels a very deep connection with this group. Is there anything else that you can share with him? about how he's connected with you? Something interesting that he'd like to know? Hmm, what should we share? Perhaps. We would say the Octurions seem harsh for you. We are lighter. We are more sensitive. 
we would say we are closer to Pleiadian frequency. You did live life in a female body here. Your feminine aspect is from our group. Your heart sensitivity, your sensitivity to life, your, uh, they might disagree, we would say your intuition comes more so through us. We have given you the connection, the, the softness, the connection to others, to the world, to the earth. You're, you do carry a soft heart. They kind of said you didn't. <laughs> We would say you do. We all do have very different opinions. You want to make sure you're doing what's best for the planet, for yourself and for others. Your humanitarian outlook is from us. You are very careful to make sure you are not hurting the planet. And we thank you for bringing this attribute from our planet to theirs. Continue to shine. Shine your light, big, beautiful soul. Our heart is connected to yours. When you feel the world so big sometimes that you need to step away, know that that's us. <laughs> we do not like conflict. We are sensitive souls. So earth is extremely heavy for you in this way. We would say, maybe find your Octurian self for that role, huh? They don't fear any of the things we do. We just want everyone to get along, don't we? World peace, right? Your hippie soul comes from us. We are proud to call you ours as well. What a glowing, vibrant soul. So careful to not rock the boat of the delicate balance around you. You are doing amazing work. Rise up into your Octarian power. It is within you. But to keep that gentleness that we know so well and love, we will be with you. Wonderful. And he says he also felt a connection with the Anunnaki. And so I know that they are also here with us today. Is there anything they would like to share with him about his connection or their connection together? We are here for you. We know your soul well. You have spent time with us, brother, you remember. So powerful we are. We would like to say the gift and the curse of the mind, the heavy thinking is from us, huh? What amazing 
blend we are seeing that you are today. We had no idea the extent of your soul when you had visited us. We are very proud to have an Anunnaki brother on Earth to help the humans and the Earth at this time. We are so proud that you are proud to call us your brothers. We thank you from our hearts for reaching out in allowing us to be a part of this awakening within you, within the planet, within the galaxies. We are doing our best to step forward, to put our best foot forward for the world to see. And we are so grateful that a soul such as his is proud to step up and say, yes, I am connected to the Anunnaki and I am a beautiful, powerful soul. Thank you, brother. We are so grateful for this energy that you are showing others. It is teaching not only the earthlings, but to the other star races more about who we truly are and your experience with us on our planet. You are there to not only help the earth, but to represent all of these other cultures to represent all of the other galaxies and to say, yes, we can come together. Yes, we can act as one for the greatness, goodness, evolution for all that is and all that will be. Thank you, our brother. We stand beside you firmly. Please call on us for any and all of your needs, for protection, for mental clarity, we will be here. You know it is true. Wonderful. Thank you so much for all of that. So his final question, he says, in recent times, he's experienced a need to fill passive activities, such as watching movies and some sort of physical activity that splits his attention and keeps his senses stimulated. He said this often disturbs his focus when meditating, and he wonders what recommendations can his guides give to help quiet the mind and lessen the need for stimulus. We will step back in. This is your Octurian guide. We need you to see that, yes, you have been programmed to need, to need, to need, to need, correct? To always be stimulated, to always keep the mind busy, to always keep the body busy. This is a program. Do you see the program? Once you see it for what it is, you can disconnect from it. You can say, nice try. I see what you're doing and I do not accept it. Nice little game they have to steal your consciousness, right? Oh, let's give them devices. Let's give them movies. Let's get them always needing something in their mind's eye, always needing something to look at, always needing something to do. Oh, look how funny the humans are. They cannot sit still. Even our two-year-olds have to be on iPads. No one can sit still anymore, can they? Oh, now they can't sit still. We can drug them even better. You need to see the game. This is not hard for you. They say you are sealed in the forehead, correct? Heard of that term? They cannot manipulate the star seeds, the star children, like they can the humans. 
Yeah, they have entertained your attention. But you can easily break it. Say, wait, I see what you're doing. You are giving me all of these things in order to take my consciousness and consume it as your energy. Wow. A nice game. Better unplug yourself from that matrix, son. Do you consent to them stealing your energy? So at the end of the day, there's nothing left for yourself, is there? Oh, I feel so tired. I don't even know what I did with all my energy today. Oh, you plugged it in and you gave it to the matrix. How do you feel about that, star child? We present it in such a way to make you angry on purpose. We want you to be mad. Not okay that they've done this to everyone, is it? Stop giving them your power. Your power is for you and to change the world. Hard to change the world when you are plugged in, isn't it? Siphoning off every last inch of energy that you have. Oh, so tired I will stay in. I cannot change the world today. Maybe tomorrow I will change the world. We will say this again and again and again until all of our star children get the message. Turn off your phone. Turn off the TV. Turn off the movies. Turn off the computer. Turn off the iPad. Oh, you're still distracted by your things in your home. Okay, walk outside. Still distracted in your own yard. Okay, get in your car, drive far away, out to the middle of nowhere. Do not bring your phone. Do not bring anything but you. No hat, no sunglasses. Go sit out in the middle of that field. Go sit by your tree. Go sit by your rock, by the lake, by the water. And be. You will try to distract yourself for a while. Oh, I have all these thoughts running through my head. Let me think about them. Oh, do, 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 do. I will think about them until it is boring to think about them. Okay, now I am bored. Perfect. That is the state you need to be. The state of being is a state we wish you to get used to. Sit in the state of boredom in the middle of nowhere for a bit. And you will be so happy. You will start to connect to your feelings, to your heart, to your desires, to your wishes to the ideas that we are trying to send in. You say, I would like to change the world. Okay, we are trying to send the ideas, but you are not listening. So many thoughts up in that head. Be quiet long enough for us to come in. We will send you the ideas. We will send you the reparations we will send you the connections in your community to do so but if you are plugged into the matrix there is no other energy left at the end of the day so sorry he is not here today cannot send the message through oh we will try again tomorrow that is how we feel sometimes give us a chance and we will be there and all of those questions swirling in your mind will be answered in an instant. We are waiting. Wonderful. Very good. Are there any final messages for Peter today?
We will step in. This is your angel guides, Peter. We want you to know we are always with you. Every step of the way, you have done so beautifully on your journey here. We are proud of you. We feel the proud father feeling coming from all of the different beings that stepped in today they are so happy that you are a part of them and they of you you have made them all very proud and we want to say we are proud of you as well you have such a big heart for humanity you are going to make a huge difference. You are making a big difference. This is just the preparation before the show begins, right? So we just want you to gather your strength and disconnect like they said, and you will receive all the clarity that you have been looking for in an instant you are clear you are free you have just been dumping your energy elsewhere so once that is resolved your light can shine extremely bright you are a forerunner in your community you need to know that you are placed perfectly to make changes you are the one people are waiting to hear from. You are the one who will step out first and say, let's do it this way instead. And people will listen to you. They see your gifts. They see your light. And you have been sent for that, haven't you? You're the perfect package rolled into one soul. The sensitive the enlightened and the strong, right? Beautiful package you are, and the world needs you, needs you now more than ever. So as the world crumbles around you, we wish you to stand up straight and strong and be the light shower, the light bringer that you know that you are we love you peter keep going wonderful thank you so much for all those messages for peter i think you will enjoy hearing them and i'm now going to ask peter's guides to begin to recede with much love and much thanks for the information that you have shared <laughs> 